You know, looking around this room as the sun's coming up behind us here, we're heading to Memorial Day weekend. Uh, Billy, people in here getting kind of hungry. Oh, man, I'm ready to feed them. We well, got... Jeff Matthews just brought up a lip smacker over there. Jaw Jack just brought up a good point. He said, you better hurry up and throw that meat on the grill. I've been cooking a little while, and I know that that stuff needs to hurry up and get on the grill. Yeah, but the voodoo you do with TV, we can do it in 15 minutes. Well, he's got a, what do you got right there? Half a cow. I've got a pork shoulder and a... Certified Herford. Stay Rich. right next. Stay with, me, stay, with yeah, stay, with here, stay with me, Stay with me. Yeah, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. There it is. Right there. Some fire yeah. roasted corn. Fire roasted. So what? All, again, tell me what all we have. Now I got a little distracted. Jaw Jackers over there. Oh, we having corn, roasted corn, certified Herford brisket, and pork shoulder. Pork shoulder. Now you open this weekend up in Ardmore? Yes, sir. Sure am. Open. Uh, Today from 11 to 9, tomorrow 11 to 9, Sunday 11 to 3. Taking Monday off. Well, no, I'm going to be in there till about 10 o'clock. So nice. Letting people come in and pick up some meat they order. I appreciate you coming down, Billy, and feeding us all the time. So we're going to eat good in the neighborhood in a little, little bit. So we got stuff ready to eat. Yes, sir. Look at that good. burial detail over there. They said they're starving to death. They didn't get up here for nothing this morning. I oh, think no. Tony, Tony Grigsby said, hey, we're going to get plenty to eat this morning. Yeah, we got dead cat. Yeah. Very to cap. All right, well, we'll be ready to eat here in just a second. Right, Thank buddy. you for coming. Thank Let's walk over here and meet some of these guys here. I know this one right here. Ed, how you pronounce your last name? I have no idea. <laughs> Savini. Savini. Now, you won a big lawnmower from uh, Dixie Auto Parts a couple of years ago. Yes, sir. Now, you, your claim to fame is, though, you were one of 20 kids? Yeah, sorry to say. Same mama, same daddy? Yeah, the daddy never learned. Which one wore out first? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> How many are, uh, you're, you'll be 80 your birthday coming up this summer. Yes, that's right. How many of your siblings are still alive? Ten. We have ten left. All right. So that's, uh, we're, we're getting halfway. You're getting halfway. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming up. It's good to see you again. They get me, they're going to get the best. Yeah. And you are? Jesse McEwen. Hey, Jesse. Now, what do you get out of working on this burial detail? Because I heard a lot of comments. You guys do a fantastic job with that. We do, and, and it makes the family feel good when you can honor their veterans. Now, I understand if Tony told me correctly, y'all stay quite busy with this. Yes, we do. We do two or three a week. That's a lot. Well, thank y'all for coming up early this morning, and you are? Bob Helton. Hey, Bob, what do you like about doing what y'all are doing? I just do it. I do it for the veterans. There's a... There's a you're, Veterans, your veterans that have died and and done work in the past and been in the overseas, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. That's what it's all about. I know, dear Abby's got a thing today. People need to take time out. I think it's three o'clock on Monday. That's the day Major League Baseball and everybody else does a moment of silence for the veterans. And they were all talk talking about it. The Veterans Day's gotten away from what it used to be. It used to be a time to honor those fallen soldiers that fought for our country. Now it's picnics and parties and sales on everything except tires. Tom Clem here, 60 years in business at Clem Tire. Thanks for doing business with us. Well, thank you. I, I'm not quite that old. Yeah, I know, I know you are, but you're about my age. But uh, why'd you get involved? Now, you guys are, are any of y'all veterans? Yeah, all of us. So everybody's a veteran. Yeah. You have to be a veteran to be in this? No. 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 Okay, you don't have to. But uh, uh, I got involved because I read in the paper where it said that uh, we didn't, they didn't have enough to do the work. And uh, I decided, well, that's something I can do. And, and uh, I enjoy doing it. You know, a lot of the veterans gave a whole lot more than what I ever gave. You know, I served, but, but a lot of them made a lot better, more sacrifice than what I ever thought about doing. And, and I just felt like it's just something to do. So it's an honor. Yes, it's an honor for me. All right, thank, thanks for coming up early this morning. And you are, sir? J.D. Jones. J.D. Jones. So, J.D., why are you in this? Well, first of all, because of the veterans. Uh, second of all, I was volunteering up at the Veterans Museum, and I kind of got drafted into it because they needed help. So, uh, and it's come out Monday, you won't be disappointed. All right, now what, tell me what's going to take place Monday. Well, you know, Flo Micah will be doing the speaking over at the event center. Uh, there's some things happening that I cannot discuss. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to know anyway. Well, anyway, but uh, he might be looking. Uh, but if they'll come on over and join us at 10 o'clock, we will uh, have the uh, speaker and do the okay. ceremony. That's Monday morning at 10. And you yes. are? Joe McDonald. Now, how long have you been involved in this, Joe? Just one year. One year. Now, how long have y'all been together? It's just a year, isn't it? No, no they've been, been they, they, I don't know how many years, but yeah, we, I, I, I volunteered last year. So you enjoy this as well. Right. Yeah, it was one of the duties I did when I was in the Army was being on the Honor Guard, so 
when I saw they had a need, I decided to join and show my respects to the well, I'm gonna, uh, Thank y'all for coming. I'm going to feed all y'all in just a moment because he's got everything ready. We're getting ready to go to a little local and loved it this morning. We'll get Tony Grease, who's also a member of that detail and always loves doing that. And we'll talk more about that later on this morning. But uh, Cleo, you ready? All right, let's go locally loving it on a Friday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live Memorial Day special with Tony Griggs being Cleo this morning. Y'all, hang on.